Yo, kids, it's Carmen here. How you doing? Let me tell you about my friend Lawrence. Yeah, he's that cat on the cover. I call him L for short. First time we met downtown one night, L and another cat named Spitz were cleaning out my car. You know, stealing, ganking, robbing. Well, good thing I came along when I did. Hey, check out this ride, L. I don't know about this, Spitz. Hey, hey, chill. It's cool. Man, we could get busted. Listen, L, if you want to hang with the gang, you better get used to this real quick. I don't know. There, see? No car alarm, no nothing. I'll yank out the stereo, you check out the glove compartment. Yeah, okay. Let's see some maps here, some tapes. Hey, look. Looks like this book could be worth something. Bag the book, L. Look for greenbacks, credit cards, you know. Look, Spitz, look, look. It's got a black leather cover, but they put it in gold. Forget the book. C A R M A N. Carman. What a smooth car on this man. I wonder if. Chill. Someone's coming. Let's grab some tapes and cruise. Look, Spitz. The book's got some red letters, some black letters, some stories. Hey, Furball, what are you doing in my car? Look at this. Wait a minute. You ain't Spitz. Where's Spitz? Your friend Jetty. You took off? You should take a picture of this. I mean, I never seen a car broken into by two actual cat burglars. Uh, I got a jet, man. Hey, wait up. It's a nice book you got there. Yeah, it's a leather cover, gold letter. Are you worth something? You're going to lift it, aren't you? Yeah. I mean, no. I mean, uh, it's not mine. Well, it is now. Huh? I'm letting you have it. Straight up? Uh, uh, wait. Are you this car man? Car man. Yeah, that's it. Uh, so so this is your car? That's right, Garfield. <laughs> and this is your glove box? Yep, you're very brilliant. This is your car manual? Yeah. Well, listen, man. I- I'm out of here, man. I gotta release something to eat. Oh, chill, man. Like, you need the book more than me. Man, you best with me. No, really, it's yours. I got another Bible at home. Bible? It's a Bible? I heard of this. Yeah? Yeah, man, I dig the part about the whole boy in a cage of lions knocking off a giant whale with a slingshot. Man, that's odd. Well, that's not exactly it. Here, let me tell you what the book says. Man, you know all about this book. Well, I'm into it every day. Wow, you're a monk or a guru or something? Nah, let's just say I'm training for a championship fight. This is my manual. Straight up? It shows you how to fight? Right again, Heathcliff. All right, man, I can use this. Hey, would you a black belt or a brown belt or what? Uh, how about a Bible belt? What? <laughs> Man, you for real? No, no. The question is, are you for real? I can't believe this. A 250-pound talking cat. You making fun of my way, G? No, I just never... You never met such a cool cat is what you're saying. Yeah, that's it. Hey, I'm bad. Just let me tell you. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a minute, wait. What's my car, man? You better sit by vibe, man. Yeah. Check out my man with the moves, XXL. Oh, you like him? Where you got all this energy from? What else, man? Sandwiches. 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 French fries. Fries. Coles long. Come on. And ding dong. Man, I think you a ding dong. Yo, L, if you're so cool, what are you doing breaking into my ride like this? Oh, man, Spitzer, that's how I get in the gang. Yeah, in the chain gang. Listen, L, you're a big cat. You don't need nobody telling you what to do. Man, I gotta have my homies. Homies, homies. Man, if you need a friend, I tell you what. You looking at him. Yeah? Yeah. All right. Plus, there's a whole set of angels and Bible heroes in heaven checking you out. Straight up? Yeah, man. They're cheering us on. They all went through the same things you're going through. Like, uh, for instance, Joseph. Oh, yeah. The Christmas dude with Mary and the baby. Oh, no, 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 no. Wrong half of the book slice. Look, just check it out. The story goes like this. Man, that story is hard. And that's what really went down. Before my time, but it really did happen. You you made this Bible stuff is for real? Straight up. Every word. Even the part about the big dude taking off the giant well with a slingshot? <laughs> hey, this ain't downtown. It's Israel. You mix it up two different guys. Jonah's the cat with the whale. David's the dude with Bigfoot. Well, it sounds like David was a straight up gangster. Did he do drop outs with a slingshot or something? Uh, not quite slick, but close. I mean, you heard of boys in the hood? Yeah? Well, think of it this way. It's like boys in the pasture. Hey. Dude, man, I wouldn't mind hanging with those cats in the Bible, man. Well, I happen to know the author of the book. I hear he's got some openings in his training camp right now. Whoa! You think there's a place for me? Yeah, Lawrence. There is a place for you.
Come here, Al. I got something else in the car for you. What? What, a sandwich? No. French fries? No. Ding dong, man. Man, you know, I love no, ding dongs, no man. Ding dongs ding are the best thing. No, what? Sylvester. Well, what? Hang on. Man, that's weird. I'm sure those tapes were in here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh what? Spitz must have took them, man. Spitz? You mean another cat with his sticky fingers? Well, I'll tell you what. I'll go check up the gag back on the set, and I'll see what I can do. Just forget it. Spitz could probably use them. Besides, I got more of them at home I can let you have. No, oh, man. I gotta do the right thing. Like Joseph, remember? Oh, so you're gonna tell Spitz, forget the cat burglaring, I'm gonna do God's thing. Are you ready for this? Sure, why not? Well, God's way is right, but it ain't always easy. You could lose your homies, your home, you see what I'm saying, Holmes? Oh, yeah. Well, say maybe you could go tell him for me. Elle, look, this is something you need to do. Now, I'll back you up, but you got to take it head on. Yeah, you're right. Man, well, let me think about this. Lawrence had a tough choice to make. Was he going to hang with his wild friends and keep his reputation or follow his heart and do the right thing, God's thing? Lawrence faced the kind of decision that Daniel in the Bible had to make. Daniel was very successful, but he could have lost it all, even his life, if he kept praying the way he did. So what happened? Well, the story as I remember goes something like this. Man, Daniel getting to deal with them lies is a whole lot worse than me going back to the set and talking to my cats. So, you're saying you've made your decision? Yep, I'm going to be like Daniel and go God's way. Even if Mahomes dog me out. All right, well, then I'll walk with you. Cool. Say, man, how about another story? Yeah, we got quite a ways to go. Sure. Let me look through your Bible here for a second. Oh, okay. Hmm. Ah, here it is. Here's the one about Ruth. Yeah, I'm up on that. Hey, isn't that Babe Ruth? Yeah, Babe Ruth. No, 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 no. You're really striking out here, Felix. This is the babe that was the great-grandmother of David the Giant Killer. Oh, all right. I, I got you. She made a tough choice to leave her home, her country, everything, to start a new life in a new place. Why'd she do that? Now, you're not going to believe this, but she wanted to hang with her mother-in-law. Straight up. Yep, and she loved the god of her mother-in-law. Radical. Hey, let me tell you. Man, where do you cats hang out? Like, uh, where's your crib? Where's your hood? Oh, it's just a couple more blocks down this alley. And, uh, watch out for the rats. Yeah, nice neighborhood slice. Hey, why are you tripping? I ain't scared. Are you? No, but I, I'm just, uh, I'm kind of having second thoughts about this whole thing. I mean, what's happening? What got so deep? Uh, it ain't no thing. I'm, I'm just, like, having some doubts in my mind. Hey, doubts can hit anybody, G. Even John the Baptist had doubts one time. Wondered about Jesus. They were homies from day one, you know. Well, what did he do when he doubted? Well, he went and asked Jesus. It was midnight by the time Lawrence and I got to the hangout. Thin shafts of light danced through the rickety old door, and we could hear them cats partying inside. Lawrence looked more nervous than ever. I offered to go inside with him, but he shook his head. Thanks, G, but I gotta do this on my own. You might just hang in here for a minute. I nodded. Sure, my man. Lawrence started lifting the door latch, then hesitated. Remember Daniel, David, and Joseph, I whispered. Lawrence smiled. Then he slowly pushed open the rusty door. Someone inside said, Hey, look who's back, Mr. Cat Burglar himself. Lawrence shuffled in, and the door slammed shut. I could hear them cats circling around Lawrence saying, Dude, you did it. You pulled off your first job. One of the cats must have been Spitz. Slapped him on the back. Man, I thought you was dog meat for sure getting busted right on the scene. You must have done some fancy footwork to get out of that one. Uh, well, I, uh, I, uh... Lawrence didn't know what to say. What's the matter, Al? Cat got your tongue? <laughs> Hey, hey, don't worry, man. You're in with us now. I knew Lawrence wanted to tell him what really happened. And what he had decided, he was scared. I started praying for him on the spot. In the meantime, Spitz was cranking up the party. Come on, cats. We got a new member in the mob, and I got a new tape to play. Let's rock. Before I could finish praying, I heard my voice coming over their stereo. Through a crack in the door, I could see the cats really getting down, dancing to the music. All except Lawrence, who was sitting in the corner looking like one scared D cat. 
reminded me of Peter when he started looking at the waves instead of at the Lord. After congratulating Spitz for stealing such a jam in music tape, all the cats looked at Lawrence. What did you get, homeboy? He lifted the Bible in his hand. That's it, they said. A useless book? The question hung in the air for a moment. Then Lawrence blurted out, I mean, this book is really worth something. It's a Bible. It's got stories about champions for God, like Joseph, David, Daniel, and, and I want to be just like him. The cats all looked at Lawrence like he was a UFO or something. Like, man, what tree did you fall out of? Spitz shook his head and mumbled. I knew that book would mess him up. But Lawrence was just getting to the good part. Listen, y'all, I thought about it. And I, and I'm giving up this cat burglar and rolling with the gang. Say what? I'm going God's way. That's when I opened the door and stepped into the scene. Hey, what up, fellas? All the cats spun around and stared at me, man, like I was Daniel the hors d'oeuvre in the lion's den. Fellas, uh, this, this is Carmen. He, he gave me the Bible. He's the one with the car. You live with Spitz, you know, cakes and stuff? Spitz free. What are you, crazy? You should have never brought him here. Spitz just snatched the tape out of the stereo, pulled the rest out of his pockets, and threw them at me, saying, You out of here. Both of you. I didn't feel led to argue with him at that point, if you know what I'm saying. Neither did Lawrence. We just kind of smiled as Spitz gently ushered us out. I don't come back. We'll be praying for you, I yelled back as we started walking out the alley. I looked at Lawrence, and I'll tell you what, he looked like a load of bricks just fell off his shoulders. Man, I'm glad that's over. Now, L, that took a lot of guts, but you did the right thing. You know, I felt like one of those Bible heroes myself. I told Lawrence to keep reading his Bible. A lot more champion lessons in there for you, my man. And here, these tapes are yours. Man, thanks, Carmen. Say, you mind if I hang with you while we walk back? L, you can hang with me as long as you want. For real? But you gotta promise me one thing. What's that? You gotta teach me some of those uh, alley cat moves I saw you doing back there. Man, I don't know, man. That's kind of tough, but... Come on. All right. You got a deal. Yeah. Wait. Say no more. I got you covered. You read. What do you think of this? it in my pocket. It's a little, it's a little flat. Don't worry. Oh, man. You have to peel it off the paper, man. It's all right, man. You, you'll like it.